Hello, I'm Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters. If you're watching this, the inconceivable must have happened. Your beautiful wood floor, which you've no doubt dedicated time, money, and sweat to perfect, is now showing signs of buckling or other type of weird warping behavior. If you are just watching to educate yourself about how to avoid this disastrous and heartbreaking result, I salute you and your quest for knowledge. But let's get back to you slumped over nearly in tears and complete disbelief that this could happen after you followed every step of the process, crossed every I and dotted every T. When any wood floor buckles, it's because the wood has picked up moisture. This additional moisture causes the wood to swell and yes, break your heart. So where did the moisture come from? Maybe from the air, maybe from a leak of some sort, but for the purposes of this video, we'll address the cause as the concrete slab subfloor. Concrete is a porous material that allows for continuous moisture transfer either into or out of the slab. The planks of the wood floor in this case would most likely be an indicator of moisture continuing to escape from the subfloor. If your wood floor is already experiencing buckling, warping, crowning, or cupping, these two resources are going to be very helpful for you. First and foremost, the National Wood Flooring Association, or NWFA, is your one-stop shop for educational materials about wood flooring. Their motto is, leave no question unanswered. Tips from experts, fact sheets, webinars, and links to technical standards are just a few of the many helpful resources available at nwfa.org. The International Concrete Repair Institute, or ICRI, is a great place for networking, troubleshooting, and training. If you work with concrete in any capacity, ICRI.org should be a bookmark on your browser. Getting back to your buckling wood floor, if you're convinced that the concrete slab subfloor is releasing moisture and wrecking your flooring masterpiece as well as your day, there's a quick, easy, and highly accurate way to determine the moisture condition of the slab. It's our RapidRH L6 in situ concrete moisture test. In the time you've been watching this video, you could have installed a RapidRH L6 sensor. Let the sensor acclimate for the required 24 hours, then immediately take a reading to get the most accurate and reliable indication of the concrete slab moisture condition. Yep, immediately. No additional equilibration time required. But don't take my word for it. Visit RapidRH.com to learn why industrial professionals choose RapidRH L6 for superior accuracy, speed, and digital data integrity. Email me at jspangler at wagnermeters.com if I can answer any question. Thanks for watching. While you're here, check out these other videos and click subscribe.